Professor Yossi Israeli, family and friends of Talma Israeli. This year's winner of the award in memory of Talma, Mika More. And of course, our distinguished lecturer for today, Professor Karen Alkali Good. Colleagues, students, I am happy and honored again, as always, every year, to open the annual memorial award ceremony and lecture in memory of Talma Israeli a distinguished and much-loved teacher of writing in the English language, of eloquence and of academic excellence, a lover of eloquence in all of its forms, who set an illustrious standard for generation of students in the Department of English and American Studies. And so this is now my fifth year, no, yes, fifth year of delivering this opening remark. Um, I did the year before that as well. <laughs> um, and I, in the past years, um, I always felt it was important, um, and I think it's reiterated to me every year when I enter class and teach, especially when we sit together with texts and do close readings and you work with students on, your, on their written work, supervising uh, seminar papers, graduate papers, and, I always feel it's important to commemorate Thomas' legacy by noting how in her capacity as a beloved and inspiring teacher of the art of writing and speaking well, that is, of academic excellence or more simply rhetoric and eloquence, how Talma challenged her students, challenged in a full uh, meaning of the, in the term intellectually and ethically to be better people in a true humanist sense of making them not just better writers, but ultimately better people who value the power of words in our lives and understand the enormous responsibility that comes with having to account for one's thoughts and actions and being able to express and communicate them well. Thomas' own deeply humane mastery of the art of writing and communicating enabled her to lead generation after generation of students who chose the path of writing on the English language and its rich literatures by mastering themselves the art of English eloquence, making it their own. All that Talma ever asked in return from her students was that in devoting themselves to acquiring the art of rhetoric, they would be as devoted as she was to transmitting that art. For she utterly was devoted to her students, dedicated completely and uncompromisingly to the teaching of writing, of excellence, of eloquence in excellence, and in composition in English language, which she saw as her life's mission. And it is, of course, always, particularly in the last two years, well to remind ourselves of Thomas' legacy in what remain difficult days in our world at large of alternate truths and fake news, when it seems that eloquence and the integrity of ethical discourse are in constant threat within the culture at large. After all, devotion to the art of writing was, since antiquity, and remains inseparable from ethics, and that which makes possible civil, just, and fair societies. It is in this spirit and always in this spirit, because I believe it is important to mark Talma's unique legacy and to continue to commit ourselves to the teaching of English writing in our department according to the high standards of excellence Talma helped enshrine and came to define. And so, it gives me great pleasure to announce that in this spirit, the year's, this year's recipient of the Award for Excellence in Student Writing in the name of Talma Israeli is Mika Moe, and I'd like to invite Mika to receive the award. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very honored to have been selected by the committee. And would like to say thank you for Thomas' family and dedicate the money that has been awarded to me to advance my academic studies. Thank you.
Now, special event this year. This year's lecture in memory of Tal Israeli will also be delivered by one of her friends. We, of course, honored, and this speaker needs no introduction, but I'll still give her an introduction. Um, <laughs> we are more than honored, delighted, uh, and thrilled, in fact, to uh, host our very own um, Professor Emerita, Poet Laureate, rock star, Professor Karen Alcolaguz. <laughs> who will be sharing with us some of her recent research uh, with the, well, what can I say, I'll just, I'll just read out the title, Rhyming a Way Out of Dying, William Ernest Henley's Hospital Chronicles. Please. Thank you. 